Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this low level fatal error. The UESMG 031 MP game has crashed and will close. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to rename the con. First of all, try to relaunch the game. So when you receive the error, just close it. Try to launch the game once again. Try it multiple times. If that does not work, restart the computer. And after the system restart, you can check. If that does not work, rename the config file. Now, to rename the config folder, you can open File Explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, now open Users folder, now open Your Username folder, open App Data. If you don't see App Data at the top, click on View, Select Show, put a check on Hidden Items, and then open App Data folder, Local folder. And over here, you will find uh, find Little Nightmares 3 and then open this folder here you can see saved open saved here you can see config folder make a right click now when you rename the config folder all the saved settings will be lost so make a right click on config folder and then you can rename it now you can relaunch the game and then check if that does not work rename the save game files create a backup first because when you rename the save game files all the save game progress will be lost you have to start everything from scratch to rename the save game files you can go to the same location this location and then here you can see the folder game folder copy this and then create a backup once you have a backup created now you can rename this folder you have to start everything from scratch and then relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to try dx12 in the launch option make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx12 and then launch the game and then check if that does not work this time you can type in dash dx12 space dash no ray tracing and then paste it over here uh, sorry so it's dash dx12 space and dash no tracing and then you can relaunch the game and then check do not use dx11 in the launch option now it's still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card drivers if if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card your operating system and then click on find and on this page you will see the latest graphic card driver so whichever is the latest GeForce game ready driver, you can click on view over here and then click on download and then you can run this exe file. Run this exe file. When you run the exe file, you will click on yes to allow, click on OK, click on agree and continue, select custom option and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Click on next. After the clean installation is done, restart the computer and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this you can type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder so in my case the game is over here in this location select the game exe file click on add once the game is added scroll down and click on the game select high performance you will see your graphic card over here now launch the game and add the second exe file open this smg folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on add once it is added now again click on the game and then select high performance over here launch the game and then check still not working disable integrated graphic card now for this you can make a right click on the start menu go to device manager now if your computer has a dual graphic card expand display adapter here you can see discrete and another is inbuilt the integrated one you can make a right click on integrated graphic card and then you can click on disable device and once that is done launch the game and then you can check and once you're done playing the game you can make a right click once again and you can enable the graphic card next step is to roll back graphics card driver so if the latest graphic card driver is not working so after you select your graphic card your operating system on this page you can click on view more version and you can try to install the previous drivers so you can try any one of them roll back click on view download it when you go for installation make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next and then restart your computer and then check next step is to use intel driver and support assistant now for this you can uh, install this if you if you don't have intel driver support assistant installed in your computer 
you can go to the Intel website, go to the official website, download it, and you have to launch Intel Driver and Support Assistant. Once you launch it, it will scan your computer for, uh, and check if there is any uh, any driver which needs to be updated. So it, it will scan your system and then it will let you know. And if, if there is any update which needs to be installed, you will see download all option. So hit download all and then click on install all and let the installation complete. Click on yes to allow if you receive this prompt while installing these uh, drivers. Install it and then once installation is done, restart your computer and after the system restart, you can check. Just follow the on-screen instruction over here and then install it. Now still not working. The next step is to try launching the game from NVIDIA app. So if you have NVIDIA app, you can launch NVIDIA app on your computer and then go to, you can go to home and if you see, you will see little nightmares too you can click on play over here launch the game from here and then check if that does not work go to settings and then select little you can go to graphics also and then select little, little nightmares 3 game and once you select it uh, you can uh, go to global settings over here and then if mo smooth motion if this is off uh, like on you can turn it off and then go to program settings select little nightmares 3 and again smooth motion if this is on turn it off and then check if that does not work, uh, you can optimize uh, the game in NVIDIA apps. So select the game over here and over here if you see optimize options. So I don't see it in your case. If you see optimize like this, click on optimize. Select little nightmares 3 and then click on optimize. Once the optimize is done, now you can launch the game and then check. Or you can launch the game from NVIDIA app as well. If that does not work, if it is already optimized, you can revert the optimization and then you can uh, uh, relaunch the game and then you can close NVIDIA app and then relaunch the game. Now the next step is to try debug mode. So make a right click on the desktop, show more option and then click on NVIDIA control panel and once it is open, go to help and then over here you can see debug mode. In my case it is already checked. So if not checked, you can put a check on debug mode and then relaunch the game. If that does not work, restore the settings. So in NVIDIA app you can go to manage 3D settings global settings click on restore over here click on yes at the bottom right you will see apply option hit apply and then you can relaunch the game and then check now the next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel go to hardware and sound and then go to power options in your case if you see power saver over here like this put a check on power saver and then relaunch the game and then check you can even go for balanced and high performance check which one is working fine for you but first of all try power saver and then you can relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to enable or disable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on advanced graphic settings if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off turn it on and then relaunch the game and then check or you can even restart your computer after this and after the system restart you can check now if this is already on like if this is already on you can turn it off and then relaunch the game and then check next step is to verify the game files now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity game files once the verification is done launch the game now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder so instead of launching the game from Steam, make a right click on the game, manage, browse local files and then make a double click, launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, open SMG, binaries, Win64, make a double click on this exe file and then launch the game. Still not working, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. If this is unchecked, put a check over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, try Windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok relaunch the game now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you're using Windows security, go to Windows settings, privacy and security, Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app, browse all apps, and then go to the game installation folder, and then select the game exe file. Click on open. 
again add an allowed app browse all apps and then open this smg folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open once added type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall then allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings allow another app click on browse again go to the game installation folder select both the exe file select it and then add in my case it is already added again click on allow another app click on browse and then open smg binaries win64 select this exe file click on open and then click on add again in my case i have already added now once the game is added over here make sure that you put a check on private and public and for the second exe file also private and public and then relaunch the game still not working the next step is to install visual c++ file for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual studio files scroll down you have to download this x86 and x64 install both the file download both the file and run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well again if you see the repair option click on repair click on install if you see install and let the installation complete once both are installed now restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then you can check still not working the next step is to enable or disable steam overlay so for this make a right click on the game go to properties if this is off you can turn on the steam overlay and then check if it is already on you can turn it off and then relaunch the game if you have any other overlay application like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running you can go to nvidia app settings and then you can turn off this nvidia overlay turn it off and then close the nvidia app close all the overlay application and then launch the game do not overclock if you have overclocked set it to default close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner reva tuner or any kind of overclocking application running close it and then launch the game next step is to lower down monitor refresh rate suppose your monitor refresh rate is 240 hertz you can try 120 or 60 hertz you can even go to windows settings go to system go to display and then scroll down go to advanced display and you can select 60 hertz over here and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total ram for maximum is 3 multiplied total ram so you can check total ram in windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your ram and if you face any problem we can always revert back to the settings so do not worry about it so for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total ram in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total ram that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16 384 me megabyte then three times multiplied three that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that you hit set and then click on ok and then ok ok now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in view advanced system settings again and then click on view advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply click on ok ok you will see restart option restart your computer and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advance change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step now still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version for this you can open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer after the update launch the game next step is to 
skip this step if you are not able to launch the game if you are able to launch the game try window mode and lower down uh, video settings so if you are able to launch the game launch the game first now once you launch the game uh, you can press alt plus enter on the keyboard to switch to window mode and then uh, you can go to settings so go to settings over here uh, go to video over here and you can switch to window mode resolution now if this is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more and analyzing i have set it to taa so if you are using dlss uh, frame generation uh, you can turn it off or you can simply uh, if it is set to dss or uh, uh, dlss or fsr you can try this taa or you can even go for XESS. So I will just select TA over here. This is working fine for me. And quality, I have set it to low. Vsync, you can turn it off if it is on. And if it is already on, you can turn it off. Try both on and off and then check. You can uh, frame rate limit, you can set it to 30 or 60. I'll set it to 60 and then hit apply. Click on yes. And then go to advanced option. If the uh, quality preset, if this is set to ultra, you can set it to high. You can even go for medium and then apply the settings and then you can check the performance now it's still not working the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected when you update the bios now the next step is to uninstall uninstall not unplug so unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected to the computer disconnected disconnect extra controller connected to the computer disconnect external keyboard or mouse so if you have key chrome keyboard or razor huntsman keyboard you can disconnect it and then launch the game if you have undervolted the computer remove the undervolt and then check now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different right so if nothing is working make a right click manage uninstall after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart the computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel